Hi, we're here to talk about net income tax liability, which is a, uh, a fancy way of saying the amount of taxes that you owe. And the way we get to that number is on your 1040, 1040A, or 1040EZ form, typically the first section is income. That would be money you've received from an employer. Uh, if you worked as a subcontractor, you might get a 1099. You might have interest dividends. Uh, might have Social Security payments, disability payments, etc. All that goes into the income area. And the next section after that would be expenses. And so what you would do is you enter in all your expenses. Um, and there's a variety depending on your circumstances. If you have a small business, you may have a Schedule C that has uh, expenses from the business, uh, profit or loss from the business that comes into play. But Basically, you're itemizing your, your your income and your expenses, and then you go to the, the next page. second page, typically, will be the um, taxes and tax credits. In the tax and tax credits section, you'll list your deductions. you take your either your standard deductions or your itemized deductions, and basically, you'll filter down through that and subtract your expenses and your deductions from your income, you'll come up with uh, basically your net income. And on your net income, you'll go to the table and that will show you how much tax is due on that amount of income. That becomes your net tax liability.